Well, Lori Anderson uh, for Resurrect uh, Republic uh, Truth Radio Broadcast. She says, here, look what Ohio is doing. Are you kidding me? The TSA has no lawmaking authority. They only make rules. This is unconstitutional as heck. This is state of Ohio, people. This is their new card. This is a new, <laughs> you're going to love this. Now let's go over, let me see, where am I at? I need to go to, let's go here. I'm going to show you what this is about. Okay. All right, what do I need? I need, uh, what's new? Now, what you got here? In an effort to ensure greater security and identity protection for customers and to comply with federal regulations, the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles is introducing the new Ohio Driver's License and Identification Card, DL-ID Card, effective July 2nd, 2018. Get a deputy, deputy register, you, have a, you can get a regular one or or I could choose a compliant one. Either one, it, it, one's a standard, one's a compliant. Uh, you'll get it in the middle within 10 days, so on and so forth. Uh, look at this, travel, national travel security requirements. This is a free country. You can travel without papers. The new federal travel restrictions requiring secure identification goes into effect October 2020, and Ohio is getting a jump start on this process beginning July 2nd, 2018. If you're interested in the state issued credentials um, uh, for access to federal facilities or services such as airport screening uh, by the TSA, and for boarding commercial airlines, you may have to choose this or that. Wait a minute, this gets me such as airport federal screening or access to federal facilities. Wait a minute. You see where this is going? They can get to the point where they don't have to use the word federal facilities. They can do it local facilities. If you ain't got no papers, you don't get served. You can't buy this, you can't buy that. Remember 666? If you don't have the mark of the beast, you can't buy or, or sell. Remember this stuff? You know, this uh, John Kasich, governor of Ohio, he's got to be some kind of blood kin to Jerry Brown, the governor out in California, because they're both New World Order idiots. Uh, let's see, you got to provide document proof, name, date, birth, social security number, such as the card, birth certificate, passport, two additional documents, and you know, so on and so forth. Customers uninterested or not needing to use their state-issued credentials for federal identification purposes will have the option of obtaining a standard. Yeah, a standard DDL can be used in conjunction with a passport or other acceptable documents approved by the Transportation Safety Administration. Well, I got a problem with this. Number one, the TSA there's no authority to make laws. They can make rules. Instead of getting rid of vice like the Democrats want, apparently we got to get rid of the, the TSA. Yeah. Yeah, Governor. There's your governors. Can't see that. Governor John Kasich. Blood brother to Jerry Brown of California. And this John Bourne director. Yeah, people, this is something to uh, really get your, your teeth into because this is, this is coming. You're going to get to the point, you know, you, like I said, you won't be able to buy, sell, 
or do anything unless you got the mark. Okay, I got uh, this. I got the thing. Uh, what do I call it? I I clicked on the link. So when I put this up, I'll put a link below. You can go check this stuff out. And to mo to navigate this thing, go go like here. Go there, or there. Acceptable documents, materials, facts, and questions. States to remember. Contact us. And there's all this other good stuff over here that doesn't. Insurance companies. Ah, uh, yeah. Boy, I look. I might not buy any more driver's license. No, this is really, uh, that's really bugging me. So let's go back here to where, um, maybe I clicked on the wrong thing. Maybe it's here. Yeah. Yeah, Lori put this up. That state of Ohio. BMW thing. Now she's on uh, Google Plus. I um, mean, you can click on onto her thing there, and it's right there. But I will put a link to the so this guy. Says, Basically, this is the way they're getting around not being able to make a federal ID system. Now that makes sense. Okay, Ohio, heads up. And if it's gonna, do, if you're gonna do it in Ohio, you know, sure as hell they're gonna try and put it on someplace else. Nice little bird. And this bird here, uh, you ain't got much time till it's July 2nd. Okay, I'm gonna put that in favorites. I don't want to lose that. And uh, I'm going to put the video up, and like I said, I'll put a link below. And uh, you can come here and look at this and go to the Ohio thing and look it up yourselves. But uh, heads up, Ohio. Thanks for watching.